maybe this is a Danish thing. I don't know, and I don't know how widespread it is. I will admit that I don't go to that many different circles, or squares, or triangles, but enough about geometry. But I have recently noticed some people my age and slightly older are apologizing when they sneeze. I have no respect for this whole notion. A sneeze is a perfectly natural thing. I would appreciate it if you try to cover it with your hand, and if you are so inclined, maybe you want to minimize the sound, but I don't care if you do or not. A sneeze is a natural thing. When someone sneezes, someone else says, if you're in the States, bless you. Around here, posit, which is Latin for Maybe some, hopefully some good will come out of that, which I've always quite liked. That is how it goes. You do not apologize for a sneeze. It is a natural thing. I mean, okay, if there are other bodily functions that have a sound and perhaps an odor, that you may apologize for. That is something quite different. But a sneeze is sudden. It is abrupt, and it is not something that should bother someone else, unless you sneeze right into their face, which I'm told can be a quite fulfilling revenge if you are facing someone you really can't stand. But apologizing for just a sneeze, I mean, that is like back in the day when you say you were nobility, or maybe even royalty, you weren't allowed to be natural in front of people. You weren't allowed to, for example, cry in front of others. I have... I understand that nobility, certainly royalty, used to use makeup to conceal their skin color, because it was better that they look pale, because that meant that they hadn't been out in the sun. We, of course, now know that not having gotten enough D vitamin, which you, for example, get from the sun's rays, can lead to what I don't actually know is titled in English, but, you know, makes your bones brittle. Anyway, they would go to great lengths to conceal the natural aspects. This is something I have quite a problem with. You should not be concealing the natural. You should be enjoying it, celebrating it. If you must judge something, then let's judge the attitudes that lead to concealing what is natural. There is something beautiful in what is natural. There is a lot of beauty in nature and in what is natural. We shouldn't be concealing. I mean, other than I realize that it sounds quite absurd from someone wearing this much clothing, but beyond what might offend those who can't handle nudity, we shouldn't be hiding what is natural. That is something that should be judged and opposed. The idea that the way you are, the way you are naturally isn't good enough, is a horrible idea. It leads to low self-esteem. It leads to many ills. It has people spending 
absurd amounts of money and time just covering up who they are in the hopes that someone will be tricked by their disguise into liking them in spite of who they are. You shouldn't have someone tricked into liking you in spite of who you are. No, you should find someone who can appreciate who you are for who you are. Someone who doesn't want the fake you. Someone who wants the natural. Because I have a feeling that we are running out of people who can just look at the natural. I think it is appalling the focus on the, the idea that skinny little girls should be somehow the ideal, the most attractive, when just thinking logically, a curvy woman is far more desirable if we are merely looking at, you know, someone who can actually handle the birth and take care of the child, you know, feed it with the milk. The idea that sh girls should be skinny has girls getting eating disorders. It has people feeling horrible about who they are and what they look like for no good reason. For what it's worth, I appreciate a girl who can handle the way she looks, who can relax about how she looks. To me, there is nothing sexier than a woman who is comfortable with her body and can relax enough to, with her partner, be sexual without having to conceal something, without having to spend a lot of effort and energy trying to hide or to stage herself in a particular way. Find someone who wants you the way you are. Unless, of course, there is something genuinely undesirable, you know, an actual disorder a lack of social skills, something like that, you might actually need to work on first, but personal taste, appearance, the way you sound when you laugh, if the person you're with has a problem with that, then maybe you are with the wrong person. Speaking from experience.